Hello Info person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing Andromeda, Andromeda Galaxy, a galaxy that is actually visible from a lot of different places on the planet, and is even visible in locations with quite a lot of light pollution. Here's one of the recent images from the astronomy picture of the day. But despite being the closest large galaxy to us, it's still quite mysterious and still has a lot of unanswered questions about its formation and about certain features that have been discovered in this galaxy that even today are difficult to explain. We've discussed one of these features in one of the videos from about a year ago, you can find this video in the description below, but a lot of the mysteries of the Andromeda are actually right at its center, specifically in the region we usually refer to as a nucleus. And here, the Andromeda galaxy, unlike other galaxies we've explored before, first of all seems to have two different very visible cores, whose origin and whose nature is not really known to us, but on top of this has unusual features that resemble very bright stars around the core, orbiting around the center in a way that is kind of difficult to explain even today. Not to mention that there are also quite a lot of X-ray sources that suggest a lot of black holes and neutron stars, something that's not even visible inside the Milky Way's core. In other words, the Andromeda's core seems to be very different from the one in the Milky Way. But in many other ways, the galaxies are actually extremely similar to one another, even in terms of mass and in terms of size. As a matter of fact, the scientists sometimes refer to the Andromeda as a sister galaxy or as a twin galaxy of the Milky Way. But there's another feature that's a little bit different about the Andromeda that seems to suggest slightly different origins. In this case, we're talking about globular clusters. The Andromeda galaxy seems to have way, way more. And so even though the Milky Way galaxy has approximately 150, the Andromeda seems to have over 450. And on top of this, it also seems to possess some of the most massive and some of the largest global clusters we've ever seen. And one of the reasons this is important is because global clusters are also associated with various previous galactic collisions because many of them came from various galaxies and many of them might have even been centers of various galaxies. And the biggest, most massive and most peculiar cluster discovered so far is the one you see right here known as Mayel 2 potentially possessing some kind of an intermediate mass black hole on the inside and also being at least twice as massive as the most massive of the Milky Way's clusters. It contains several million stars on the inside and is believed to have been some kind of a core of an ancient galaxy that the Andromeda destroyed. But it doesn't just have one of these, it actually has quite a few. And more importantly, because there are so many clusters in the Andromeda galaxy, it also suggests that it might have had a much more violent past and it might have absorbed a lot more galaxies in the process, possibly three times as many. On top of this, unlike the clusters in the Milky Way galaxy, which are relatively similar in terms of age, the clusters in the Andromeda do show a much wider range of ages, some of them being super super old, but some of them also being extremely young, just a few hundred million years old. And that kind of implies that some of them came from much younger galaxies and the Andromeda might have actually absorbed a lot of galaxies in the last few billions of years. And compared to the Milky Way galaxy that you see right here, that has a few dozen different dwarf galaxies orbiting around it, Andromeda also seems to have more partners, with some of them in very peculiar orbits, suggesting common origin. And more specifically, suggesting that all of them are probably going to have the same fate at some point in the future. And so, a few years ago, the scientists who were studying the Andromeda galaxy and its clusters discovered a few unusual signs around the Andromeda, suggesting that it might have eaten huge amounts of different galaxies in the past. Now, normally when studying galaxies, the scientists look for these so-called stellar streams that you see right here, that usually indicate that the galaxy used to exist here and has now been absorbed into the larger partner. In the last decade, quite a lot of these have been discovered around the Milky Way as well, and you can find out more about them in one of the videos in the description. But in comparison, the inner region of the Andromeda galaxy contains what's known as the Giant Stellar Stream, GSS, the largest such stream in the vicinity of our own galaxy, naturally suggesting some kind of a large galaxy or several galaxies being absorbed a few billion years ago. But this was discovered quite a while ago. Now, a few weeks ago, the scientists have discovered something else. Another intriguing sign pointing at a huge consumption of various galaxies in the history of Andromeda. They've discovered approximately a dozen different clusters, all of which seem to be connected gravitationally and also much older than everything else in the galaxy, with all orbiting in a similar pathway to a typical stream, suggesting either several galaxies being absorbed all at the same time 
or potentially a huge galaxy with several clusters on the inside being stretched and destroyed over a period of several hundred million years. But also suggesting that in this case, the Andromeda was actually growing and increasing in size in these really huge massive growth spurts, basically suddenly absorbing a lot of galaxies and a lot of mass all at once, and then potentially having nothing going on for a few billion years. In the process naming this structure the Dulé structure, a collection of globular clusters that actually also seems to be connected to the previously mentioned giant stream that seems to orbit around the Andromeda as well. And that's of course a pretty important evidence suggesting that a lot of the growth in the Andromeda galaxy at least was extremely violent and involved multiple really massive collisions with the Andromeda eventually becoming the winner. Although intriguingly enough because there are 20 different clusters in there it does suggest that it must have been maybe several galaxies, possibly smaller galaxies and possibly in the same orbit kind of similar to what the Andromeda currently has around it right now. In other words, the implication is that the Andromeda seems to consume galaxies kind of all at once, with all of this involving extremely active periods when the galaxy itself probably becomes extremely active and starts to consume and destroy smaller partners, leaving nothing but global clusters behind. With major signs of at least two such events happening in the past. The most recent one probably happened about 5 billion years ago, and much older one probably happened around 9 billion years ago. And both resulted in the signs that we see right now, the giant stream and the chain of various global clusters in a very specific orbit. But now there's a bit of a mystery, or really more of a question. Is this how the Milky Way has grown as well? Or was this something unique to the Andromeda and does it actually make it a kind of a special case? Now based on the orbits of its partners, the current potential answer seems to suggest the latter. The Andromeda might actually just be a little bit different from the Milky Way. At the moment that particular part is unclear. But it's also even unclear what happened to the Andromeda. For example, the scientists actually want to find out if that Dewey structure is somehow related and possibly even directly connected to the previously mentioned giant stream. And if they are connected, it actually suggests that at some point in the past, the Andromeda must have swallowed a humongous galaxy. The galaxy that left all of these signs behind. And if so, Maybe this is where the second core is coming from. It's still not entirely clear what produces that second core, but if it's from a galaxy that was swallowed, you would make the Andromeda an extremely unique type of a galaxy, a binary core galaxy. Although at the moment, only one black hole has been discovered here, with the other region being something slightly different, something we discussed in one of the previous videos. That video should be in the description. But at least for now, that's really all the scientists have discovered. Yet another mystery of the Andromeda and another discovery in regards to the origin of this unusual galaxy, this time involving globular clusters and an unusual new structure or a chain of structures that we didn't really know existed until now. Here's roughly where it's located in comparison to the rest of the galaxy. And so once we have some more answers about the evolution of these galaxies, including our own galaxy, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.